Hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to introduce the Seagate COM mode. So now I have a drive connected to the uh, SRP DFL SRPSD. So now let's power on the drive. So if you're using the newest version, the COM port has been added to the main interface before the uh, program interface. So you can see instantly what's going on in the drive and what uh, what's wrong with the drives by turning on the COM mode. So now in the COM mode, so by default it is uh, closed. So now you need to open the COM port. Before opening the COM port, you need to choose a port. So you should count, before choosing the port, you should go to the device manager and check the uh, US port you're using for the uh, DFL tool. And also you should choose the correct uh, baud rate. So this is the baud rate for the uh, T drives, 9600, and uh, this is the baud rate for the F3 T drives. Okay, so I choose the F3T drives, so this is F3T drives. Okay, so in the, in the COM port, you can uh, press Ctrl-Z and to go to diagnostic mode and give commands. For example, now I can give a command to show the non-resident JDIST V40. So this is non-resident JDIST. And uh, you must be you, you must you must be careful because uh, in the comfort the uh, lowercase letters and up, uppercase letters are very they are different so you don't mess up with them. So I can uh, clear the smart. and I can. See the G list as well. Okay, so you can find more of these commands in the menu than you can uh, try by yourself on your PC. So okay, so this is COM port. So to enter the main interface, if you wanted to detect the drive, you must close the COM port. To so to switch between the COM port and ATA port, uh, you should press Control R. Control R and also close this uh, port okay that's it so now let's go to the main interface detect the drive so in the main in the main interface is the same so the benefits of using a com port is uh, you can detect the drive problems immediately after the drive powering on so now I'm showing you. So now I power off the drive and power on the drive. And if the drive has a problem, uh, the uh, error messages will be output in the COM mode simultaneously when you're powering on the drive. This is a very big benefit of uh, CK drives versus WD drives and there are many operations that can only work in COM mode uh, like uh, read SI, uh, read system files and read ROM so I want to mention here uh, read ROM you can read by COM, COM port if, you're, uh, if your drive is not working properly so uh, if your drive is not detected, you can go to COM port and open the COM port and read by COM port the ROM chip. So that means your drive is not necessarily, does not have to be working properly or spinning properly to read the ROM. Now I can read the ROM by the COM port. So that's, that's it, I just stop the task. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, I give more some more uh, introductions about the tour in the next video. Bye.